200 people living on the South Shore staged a boisterous demonstration today calling attention to noise. They say the growing number of planes that fly over their homes day and night out of St. Hubert Airport has made life increasingly difficult. Caroline Van Vlardigan was at that demonstration. Caroline, some say the noise is literally ruining their lives. Ruining their lives, causing divorce, even illness, Tara. They say they want the flight schools that they hold responsible to take off and leave them in peace. For 40 years, Lincoln Virgo has lived on Pasteur Street in St. Hubert. And along with his home, garden, and dog, he has this. How many do you get overhead in a single day? Oh, in a minute, maybe uh, around two a minute sometimes. Virgo says the stress of the almost constant noise even cost him his marriage. She decided to leave, you know, because uh, it was unbearable. So Virgo was one of about 200 South Shore residents making some noise of their own. Staging a demonstration along the road that houses four flight schools operating out of St. Hubert Airport. The executive of the town is with, behind us. Uh, Santé Publique is behind us. Also, they're saying there's a risk for your health. When I go to my brother's place, we've got to get inside to be able to talk. What we want is the complete relocation of the Ecole de Pilatal. Pascal Gosselin runs an air maintenance shop at the airport and says St. Hubert has always been one of Canada's busiest airports since 1968. But because of a temporary dip in flights in 2005, residents are under the mistaken impression that noise levels have risen. But the level of traffic that there is right now is perfectly, uh, I'd say, average uh, for uh, the last 20 years or so. The real problem, he says, is... Why did the city ever allow the development of those houses which were built in the 70s, 80s, and 90s uh, when this runway was already the busiest runway in Canada? There is a proposal to move one runway back about 2,500 feet to cut the noise levels in half, but it would cost $5 million to do. And Gosselin says the city should pay for that. But Virgo says he's had enough tax hikes already and doesn't think an extension of the runway would cut down on the noise enough. He wants the flight schools out so he can end his days at home in peace. I'm 68. I intend to die here. Why should I move? Caroline Van Brodigan, CTV News, St. Hubert.